Welcome to the 35th Annual Scholar-Athlete Celebration. Thank you all for joining us. My name is Brad Blunt. I'm part of the team in the Office of the Provost here at Rice, and I have the honor to once again serve as host of this great event, which is a proud and long-standing tradition here at Rice. It's the annual platform by which our best and brightest are recognized and celebrated for success both in school and in sport. And this year, we begin the production with a few brief remarks from our Director of Athletics, Dr. Joe Carlgaard, and our faculty guest speaker, Dr. Leo Costello. Dr. Carlgaard needs little introduction. Through his leadership, Rice's student athletes now train and compete in facilities with unparalleled upgrades, and they are achieving in the classroom at similarly unparalleled levels. And Dr. Costello is one of Rice Athletics' greatest allies. When he arrived as an assistant professor in 2005, Leo was just a fan in the stands. Today, he's a tenured associate professor of art history, co-director of the program in museums and cultural heritage, chair of his department, and the Rice Faculty Athletics Representative to the NCAA. Without further ado, here's Joe and Leo. Hi, I'm Joe Carlgaard, Director of Athletics, and I'm very excited to be part of this production. First, let me say congratulations to all of our honorees. Scholar athletes, honor athletes, and favorite professors, you've made us all proud. This year, perhaps more than ever before, I find myself amazed for all that you have accomplished as intellectuals and the strong relationships you've built. In spite of national crises and a global pandemic, you each found the strength to continue your exceptional work. You are a gift to this institution. Second, I want to offer my gratitude to all those who supported our winners, this year in particular and all along the way. I'll start with the families. Thank you for trusting Rice with your children and for raising them to be individuals of good character and resolve. May you take pride in knowing that your efforts have aided in the development of some of the finest young people that our institution has ever seen. To the university, I'd like to offer a special thanks to several offices that are critical to the success of our student athletes. All of our outstanding deans and professors, our faculty athletics representative, Dr. Leo Costello, the Office of Academic Advising, the Counseling and Wellbeing Offices, the Magisters and RAs, Housing and Dining, the Crisis Management Team, the Rice University Athletics Committee and its chair, Dr. Mark Jones, Provost Reggie DeRoche, Dean Bridget Gorman, and finally, President David Lebron. We couldn't have made this year successful without your care, concern, and resilience. Last, I wanna recognize a few in-house groups. Thank you to David Pillen, our Director of Marketing, for giving this production life. Thank you to our coaches and trainers for keeping our student athletes both physically and mentally strong. And thank you to our facilities team and the custodial staff. You were instrumental in keeping our student athletes and staff safe and well. They say it takes a village. I say it takes a team. Thank you, Team Rice. And now I'll pass the mic to our event speaker and faculty athletics representative, Dr. Leo Costello. Congratulations again to all of our winners. Thank you so much, Dr. Carl Gard, and thanks to Misha and the athletics advising staff for inviting me to do this, and to David Pillen for coordinating this so expertly. It is customary in these situations to say that I'm honored to be able to address you, but I want to stress right away how sincerely I mean that. I was asked a few years ago to give the faculty welcome address to the incoming class, and together, these are two of the things I'm genuinely most proud of in my career at Rice. In that case, I had to think what, with a few minutes, do I want most to say to students who are just at the beginning of their journey through this institution? Now, on the other hand, I've tried to think about what I wanna to say to students who may be nearing the end of that time and who are clearly in the midst of thriving here. One nice aspect of this, and I say this so lovingly relative to first year students, uh, is that I have reason to hope that there's a rather better chance that you all may remember something of this than the first years did, for whom my speech was no doubt just another pause in the whirlwind of O-Week. Um, I'm also, I wanna say, thrilled to have the chance to address your family, something I very, very rarely get to do as faculty, in fact. Um, one of the great silver linings for me 
of this COVID situation and, um, you know, the limited way that um, I've been able to go watch um, sports, uh, which is one of my great passions in life, uh, has been actually seeing your families uh, at the games. Um, I've loved walking around and seeing um, people with their um, you know, player's name on the jersey uh, behind them, so-and-so's mom or dad. Um, that's been great. Um, and it's somehow made uh, everything seem so much more personal uh, and, and brings back the intimacy that we feel when we watch uh, our kids play the sports that they love. But I really mean it when I say that I'm genuinely humbled to be addressing you. Um, and that's uh, as simple as it is, uh, one of my main points uh, in speaking here. Um, I think many of you, of course, um, and um, the athletic staff themselves are simply accustomed to being surrounded by elite athletes. So I think it uh, maybe normalizes something that is from an outside perspective, absolutely incredible. Um, and, you know, it may surprise you to uh, hear that faculty maybe aren't quite as used to being around uh, elite athletes. Um, so uh, for myself, some of you have heard me say that I'm not just a big proponent of athletics at Rice, but of D1 athletics here. Um, and for me, uh, to be honest, this is one of the most incredible things um, about working here. I would add that I know that what you're doing at Rice is hard. Um, in fact, I'm inclined to invoke President Kennedy's sentiments expressed in the Moon speech at Rice Stadium in 1962, uh, when he asked, of course, why choose uh, the moon is our goal. Um, and then um, in what turns out to have been a bit of a last minute ad lib, he added, uh, why does Rice play Texas? I think he was thinking of football. Um, but I'm compelled to note here, by the way, that Texas's volleyball team uh, may find themselves uh, wondering these days, why does Texas play Rice? Uh, but Kennedy's initial answer um, not because they are easy, but because they are hard, uh, is of course justly famous. But it's worth attending to the rest of um, the answer. As he said, quote, um, because that goal will serve to organize and measure the best of our energies and skills, end quote. Um, I think that phrase captures really well what it takes here. Um, and while being a student athlete is tremendously hard in any case, um, it's particularly hard at Rice, harder than it is almost anywhere else. And I know it. Um, we faculty expect a lot of you as students. Um, and I'll also be honest, um, I don't think that all faculty do know how hard it is to be a student athlete and do know that it's even harder at Rice than it is elsewhere. Um, unquestionably, that's a bit unfair and it may be part of what's hard about doing it and doing it at Rice. Um, but for all of this, um, as challenging as it is, and as much as um, I think you all have made um, that challenge um, clearly, again, part of why you do it, not um, uh, the other way around. Um, but for all of this, my closing words are of advice, if you'll forgive me, um, because it's advice that I give to all students. Um, and I mean it just as much for those of you who are in your final weeks here as for those of you who will return um, next year or in coming years, um, find moments in the midst of this constant, quote, organizing and measuring of your best energies and skills to simply enjoy this time. It will never be like this again. Even amidst the most difficult aspects of this experience, try not to simply look on it as something to be done to get somewhere else. And parents, fear not, I'm not saying for a moment um, that your students should lose sight of their goals and their dreams. Uh, exactly the opposite, in fact. I mean that by finding a way to pause and cherish your teammates, fellow students, coaches, and the love of playing a sport, um, that you will reach those goals as fuller, richer adults for the experience. So with that, congratulations to you all. Thank you again for listening. And Go Owls. Thank you, Dr. Carlgaard and Dr. Costello. So this year, we will recognize a record-setting 105 honor athletes and 18 scholar athletes from across each of the varsity sports teams. Now, in order to meet the criteria for the Honor Athlete Award, the student must have completed two years of undergraduate study with at least one year at Rice, 
and they must maintain a 3.2 grade point average. Now, each year from the pool of honor athlete qualifiers, a scholar athlete or two is named to represent each team. The selections are made by the athletics academic advisors in conjunction with the head coaches across each of the sports. A scholar athlete often boasts the highest GPA on the team, but athletic contributions, year in school, and program of study may also factor into the final selection. So, we'll begin by recognizing the honor athletes in the sport of baseball. Congratulations, gentlemen. Baseball's scholar athlete is Alex De Leon, a junior from Lago Vista, Texas, and Sid Richardson College. Alex is majoring in sport management. Congratulations. To me, receiving this award is an honor. It means that I have achieved academic excellence, and to do so at an institution like Rice and represent uh, the baseball team here is a humbling experience. I would like to thank my parents for always pushing me to become the best version of myself and always being there for me when I need them. They've done nothing but support me and help me with all my decisions I've made throughout my life. Uh, along with my parents, I would like to thank the Rice baseball coaching staff for taking a chance on me and giving me the opportunity to attend Rice. I wouldn't be the person I am today without them and I'm forever thankful to all of them. Last but not least, I wanna thank two professors in particular for helping me become the student I am today. Those two professors are Dr. James Dish and Dr. Clark Happenstall. These two have made my time at Rice enjoyable while continuing to challenge me in the classroom. So first, Dr. Dish. Um, I first met Dr. Dish at a sporting event in the fall of my first semester here at Rice. Um, I learned he was a big supporter of Rice Athletics. And when I found out that he was a professor, I knew that I had to take some of his classes. Uh, Dr. Dish made class so enjoyable that me and my friends actually looked forward to going to his class, which is uh, kind of hard to find today in the college life. And uh, Dr. Dish is not only a great professor, but he's a fun person to be around. Uh, he really knows how to interact with his students, and I enjoy talking to him inside and outside of the classroom. Second is Dr. Hattensaw. Um, he has by far helped me the most in my academic accomplishments here at Rice. He's been my professor for uh, multiple classes, and he's challenged me and my classmates academically, along with guiding me personally to my path to graduation by assisting me as a department chair. Whenever I needed something or needed clarification, uh, Dr. Happenstall was there for me and made sure that I got whatever I needed to be successful. Uh, he has helped me in more ways than I can explain. And for that, I thank him tremendously. Dr. Happenstall is the best at what he does and it's no surprise that he runs such a successful program at Rice. Thank you. Congratulations to the honor athlete in the sport of men's basketball. And our men's basketball team scholar athlete is Peyton Moore. Congratulations, Peyton. Uh, Peyton's a junior from Los Angeles, California and Weiss College, and he's majoring in sociology. It's an honor to receive this award. I wanna thank my parents for encouraging me and uh, teaching me resilience. I wanna thank my coaches and teammates for giving me the opportunity to live out my dream of representing this university and playing division one basketball. I wanna thank Professor Considine. Um, we've had five classes together and each one has allowed me to pursue my own interests. Uh, I've worked on a mass incarceration project where I've talked to some of the biggest leaders in this, uh, in this movement and fight for change, as well as an independent study where I govern my own research on media representation of minorities. I wanna thank Professor LeBeau. Um, her, the first class I took in public speaking gave me the confidence and voice to deal with uh, imposter syndrome at Rice. She encouraged me to be daring, be loud, and be myself when I speak. Uh, the people I've met at this university have changed my life. Um, they've continued to improve my perspective on the world, as well as reinforce my decision to come to Rice, one of the best decisions I've made. Thank you. Congratulations to the honor athletes from the sport of football. Our first scholar athlete from football is Naeem Smith. Naeem's a senior from Iowa City, Iowa and Will Rice College, and he's majoring in sport management. I just wanted to thank 
thank everyone for this award. It truly means a lot. And uh, I couldn't have done it just by myself. There's a lot of people involved that ha have helped get me to this point in my life. So I really just want to say thank you to everyone. And um, it's really an honor because I came in as a junior college transfer and definitely coming to Rice was something that is challenging and it's just been a real honor and a blessing. And I want to thank two of my professors that have really helped me to this point and helped challenge me and make me a better man and continue to strive each day to be better. And that's uh, Professor Stallings, who I'm going to start with. He's really helped me in and out of the classroom by helping me provide internships and just offering advice that a professor doesn't always have to do. He, he went out of his way to just help me to try to be successful and set the path for my life and try to know what I want to do. And uh, without him, you know, I, I definitely wouldn't be at this point. And I also want to thank Professor Rackley. He's, he's, he's one of a kind also, and he's really helped me. I've stopped into both of their offices numerous times, and we've been able to just talk about life as well as, you know, their classes. And Professor Rackley has went out of his way to keep keep working with me and uh, helping me understand material and whatnot and just help me strive to be better. And I just want to thank those two specifically. And I just uh, want to say thank you to everybody at this uh, ceremony and uh, appreciate your time. Congratulations also to Shay Baker, a redshirt junior from Round Rock, Texas and Sid Richardson College. Shay's majoring in sport management as well. Hello everyone. Um, my name is Shay Baker, and uh, I just want to first start out with that I'm extremely honored to get this uh, award, and I want to first start out by saying thank you to my wonderful family, my parents, my friends, and to my amazing girlfriend, Meredith, who have all helped me uh, at every step of the way. And then thank you to my coaches who have pushed me physically, mentally, and academically, to be the best in athlete as I can be. Now, I wanna move on to uh, first professor, Professor Crossy. Um, is the reason she's first is because she was one of the first uh, faculty I ever had interaction with here at Rice. Uh, in the summer of 2017, uh, one of my first classes was hers. Uh, it was intro to sport management. And the thing I remember about that class and what I took away is that she really set the tone for the rest of my time here at Rice with at least with the interactions with faculty. What I mean by that is like how she ran her classroom with professionalism uh, while supporting an environment for discussions and individual thought was just was such a great first impression for uh, faculty of Rice and it just, it just really helped me set the tone for the rest of my time here of how to interact with professors. Professor Crossy pushed us uh, to be the best students we can be while also being there to help us along the way uh, of discussing topics outside of class or just discussing things about life or discussing topics in relation to what she does in the outside of the classroom with her experiences in sport management. And I just want to say thank you to her. Next, I want to talk about Professor Anding. I had the pleasure of having her nutrition class my freshman year back in 2017. Uh, she also helped the football team with being the nutritionist, and I'm sure other teams as well. Uh, for nutrition, it wasn't the, a completely uh, alien subject to me as a student athlete. I'm very wary of what I put into my body. But with Professor Anding and how she teaches, she, bring in, she brings in so much professionalism, so much interaction in the classroom, so much discussion that we that she had us bring in uh, supplements for her just to uh, pick out from the from the crowd in the classroom just to talk about. She brings in such a wealth of knowledge into the class classroom, and I'm just so thankful for her and what she does with students at Rice. Till st still to this day, I can think about times where I can hear her voice saying. Uh, yes, I approve of that meal, or yes, I approve of that supplement. <laughs> uh, like, uh, I can hear her saying, yes, that's informed choice, or NSF approved. 
it's just things like that that has made my time here at Rice even more enjoyable with Professor Anding, and I can't ever thank her enough for that. And I can never thank Professor Crossy enough for what she has done for me as well. Thank you to you both. Thank you for your time with me and your impact on me here at my time at Rice. And our final scholar athlete for football is a redshirt sophomore from Coppell, Texas and Baker College, who's completing a double major in economics and sport management. Congratulations to Wiley Green. This award is such an honor. From the first banquet I attended my freshman year, helping set up the banquet to now. This is definitely an award I'm very excited and honored to receive. First off, I want to thank my parents for everything they've done for me, pushing me in the classroom with my mom as the role of the superintendent and pushing me on the field with my dad the role as the athletic director. I also want to thank my coaches for allowing us to major in such difficult fields and building practices and meetings around that so not only we can pursue our goal in the field, but also in the classroom. If you've ever taken microeconomics at Rice, you know this class is very difficult. We also know the greatness of Professor Jim Brown. I still remember the very first day of class warning any economic major students that if they were weary or unsure of their major, that he would not feel better if they simply got up and left. Yet Professor Brown has been nothing but the best in his field as a and as a teacher. Staying late after sessions to sit there and slowly explain Sleuth's theorem to me for probably the fourth time, or giving his phone number out to the kids to reach out at any point in time if they ever need, felt like they needed help. To this day, I get the chance to be a peer academic advisor for athletics and continually tell economics majors that this class is difficult, but to reach out to Professor Brown and he will do anything he can to help you as he is one of the best there is. Professor Crossy is lucky enough, you could say, to teach me twice as I had her for the intro to sport management class where I believe she quickly learned I was not afraid to share my own opinion on different sport management topics. And I was able to take her again for my leading with service class. Professor Crossy is one of the best at being able to navigate the difficulties of academics and pairing it with the enjoyment of sports. She had us dive into sports management in order to understand it. We were able to attend a Houston Dynamo soccer game searching for the pros and cons of how the game was managed. We were also able to write a 40 page paper, rebuilding one of our favorite teams from the ground up in sport management. Surprisingly, a very fun paper to write, as long as you didn't leave it to the very last day in the semester, as she warned us many, many times throughout the semester. Again, I cannot thank Professor Brown and Professor Crossy enough for their continuous help in my academics and what an honor it is to receive this award. Thank you. Congratulations to the honor athletes in the sport of golf. Rishi Kedrival is the team's scholar athlete. He's a senior from Austin, Texas and McMurtry College. Rishi is majoring in mathematical economic analysis. I'm honored to be the 2021 Men's Golf Scholar Athlete of the Year. Um, this award means a lot to me because it's a culmination of all the hard work that I've put in over the past four years, both on and off the golf course. Um, I'm really thankful for all the support I've been offered by the Rice Athletics program, um, Rice University, my parents, my coach, Misha, and everyone else who's been supportive of everything I've done. Um, I'm really grateful I've come to Rice because I had an opportunity to pursue both golf as well as my academics. And coach gave me an opportunity to do both without ever having to worry about um, sacrificing one or another. Um, the two professors that I'm most thankful for at Rice are Dr. Bejan and Dr. Carlton, both economics professors. Uh, first off, Dr. Carlton taught macroeconomics, which I took my sophomore year. Um, I really enjoyed that class because it was a real life application of everything I'd learned so far um, to the actual world where you could see what the different um, motives that the Fed had and what was going on. And so, I'm really appreciative of all the support Dr. Carlton's given me over the past four years. Um, I've stayed in touch with her and she's been a great mentor helping me through the process of getting my degree. Second off, um, Dr. Bejan is the professor for mathematical economics, which is my major. Um, it is one of the capstone courses of the major itself. And I took it last year. I'm really appreciative of that class because um, it's, it gave me more of a theoretical aspect of the way that economics works. Um, it taught me a different way to think. I'm also appreciative that there was no curve in that class because it made me dig my heels in and grind. It, I took it during the spring when golf misses close to 20 days of class. And the fact that Dr. Bejan was willing to help me throughout the semester, but at the same time, not willing to let me make an excuse and say like, oh, I missed a golf tournament. Um, can I have more time? She made me do stuff by the rules. It taught me to put my heels in, dig in, grind, and it taught me a lot, which hopefully I'll be able to take forward. 
Um, so I'm really appreciative of everything that I've been given over the past four years, and I'm honored to be the 2021 Men's Golf Scholar Athlete of the Year. Now we want to congratulate the honor athletes in the sport of men's tennis. The Men's Tennis Scholar Athlete is Conrad Russell, a senior from Palo Alto, California and Will Rice College. Conrad is majoring in economics. First of all, it is a great honor to be recognized for this award. I know that the tennis team collectively takes being a scholar athlete very seriously. And I wanted to commend my fellow teammates who are also very much deserving of this award. For the award, I want to thank both of my parents, Susie and Scott Russell, and all of my relatives for their constant support. I recognize that playing tennis is an absolute privilege. It requires financial, social, and psychological support. And I wouldn't be where I am today without the village of love I've received over the years. I also want to thank my coaches here at Rice, F.A. and Bo. They care deeply for our team and have fostered an environment where all of us can succeed in the classroom and on the tennis court while developing as men. As for my favorite professors, I wanted to recognize two professors, Dr. Ojem Koska and Dr. Barrow. Both were impacted by the pandemic and still cultivated a classroom environment that promoted intellectual inquiry. I'll start with Dr. Ojem Koska. I took her very first class at Rice Strategic Management at 8 a.m. during the spring of 2020. Although halfway through the semester, I was sent home to California and had to log in at 6 a.m., her enthusiasm for the material and her ability to draw insights from a variety of students in the room always produced fascinating discussions. Beyond just the class, Dr. Ojem Koska always went above and beyond when it came to responding to emails. As a curious student, I emailed her about cases, group projects, and even career advice and she always had incredibly thorough and enlightening responses. The second professor I want to recognize is Dr. Barrow. I took his class public finance fully online last semester and appreciated the clarity and organization of the course. Fortunately for me, due to the changing administration, there was an abundance of topics in public finance that I was curious about. During the discussion section, I had the opportunity to discuss and debate the economic foundations of these proposed policies directly with Dr. Barrow, and he had a great knack for bridging the material to current events and extending beyond what was occurring at face value to stimulate further discussion. Finally, I want to thank Misha, David, and the rest of the Rice team for putting this video together. I know that it requires a lot of planning and work, so thank you very much. Congratulations to the honor athletes in the sports of men's cross country and track and field. From the sport of men's cross country, our scholar athlete is Josiel Landa. Josiel is a redshirt senior from Phoenix, Arizona and Hanson College. Josiel is majoring in mechanical engineering. Hey everyone. First, I'd like to thank Misha, David, and the others who helped put on this event. It is an incredible honor for me to be receiving the Scholar Athlete Award. Rice University gives student athletes the unique opportunity to compete at one of the highest levels in athletics while also learning at one of the top institutions in the country. And this award is evidence that it can be done successfully. I've always looked up to my teammates and other student athletes who have received this award in the past. And it feels incredible to be receiving this honor as well. But I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for the support of many, such as my loving parents, kind friends, coaches, counselors, professors, the list goes on. But I'd like to take this time to honor a couple of my favorite professors at Rice, Dr. Tez Diar and Dr. Wayne I met Dr. Tez Diar at the start of my senior year and I was extremely nervous to take his course on computational fluid mechanics, especially in a remote setting. But Dr. Tezier's expertise, organization, and engaging teaching style really fosters an amazing learning environment. It is abundantly clear that he cares a lot about his students, and he is understanding and patient with any questions and concerns during class and outside of class. His email responses are always very thorough and timely, and you can really tell that he makes both teaching and engaging students one of his top priorities. I am incredibly grateful for his support and guidance during this past year. Next, I'd like to honor Dr. Waymeyer. After I took Dr. Waymeyer's course on heat transfer my junior year, he gave me the opportunity to join his lab at Rice, the nanoscale heat transfer lab. Although I'd never pictured myself as a researcher and I was worried about fitting in, 
Dr. Waymeyer and his lab have been extremely supportive and encouraging since the day I started. Each week, Dr. Waymeyer takes time out of his busy schedule to meet with me, and his critical feedback and commitment to helping me grow have been an integral part for developing me and my future. There's many invaluable skills that I will take away from my research experience, and I am extremely grateful and thankful for Dr. Ray Meyer's support and guidance. Lastly, I'd like to congratulate and thank all of the other professors who are being honored at this event for making meaningful impacts in the lives of Rice students. Thanks. Our first scholar athlete from the sport of men's track is Natan Rivera. Natan is a redshirt sophomore from San Salvador, El Salvador, and Martel College. Natan is pursuing a major in mechanical engineering. To receive the RISE score after work is a huge achievement for me. And it's proved that RISE's academic environment motivates me to seek excellence in sport and academics. I want to thank my parents for teaching me to be disciplined in everything I do and to persevere during difficult times. I also want to thank my coaches, Coach Butler, Coach Hill, Coach Warren, for their guidance. I believe that, that everything I learned from them reflects on my academic achievements. My time as an engineer student has been strongly impacted by Dr. Brake and Dr. Marquez. Engineering classes tend to be really hard, but Dr. Brake managed to deliver complex topics in such an understandable and interesting way. He also made sure everybody in his class will have opportunities to develop their career goals. When COVID hit and everybody was worried about summer opportunities, he decided to start an internship program regardless of the difficulties at the time. I can say that Dr. Brake is a professor who really cares about the success of his students. Dr. Marquez finds a way to enhance everybody in hard engineering topics, but at the same time make you laugh. In his classes, you will learn, struggle, but enjoy and laugh at the same time. I remember this time I had a late night doing a hard homework but the next day come to class and laugh so hard at one of his jokes. Dr. Marquez is a real approachable person whom I could discuss my career goals, have a personal conversation, or even joke about any topic. This is why I believe he's such a remarkable professor. Thank you, Dr. Bray. Thank you, Dr. Marquez, for making my time at Rice more enjoyable. Our final scholar athlete from the sport of men's track is Corbett Fong. Corbett is a redshirt sophomore from Tomball, Texas and Weiss College, and he is pursuing a major in mechanical engineering. Thank you so much for this award. It means a lot to me that my hard work has finally paid off and has been recognized. Firstly, I'd like to thank my parents and my brother. Uh, I love you guys. You guys have supported me along the journey um, at Rice and my entire life. I'd also like to thank my coaches, John and Drew, for giving me the opportunity in my freshman year to come on the track and field team. The first professor I'd like to thank is Dr. Marquez. I had two classes with him my sophomore year and I loved every minute of them. He really got me excited about mechanical engineering. Um, as many of you guys might know or don't know, Dr. Marquez really brings the excitement and fun, uh, the jokes to class. And so he really creates an environment where the students can learn. Even more than that, he really loves each and, one of, each and every one of his students. I mean, it makes us feel special. So for that, thank you, Dr. Marquez. Um, you mean a lot to me. Um, the second professor I'd like to thank is Dr. Fregley. I had a class with him this past fall, um, and they, I was very excited about the topic. It was neuromusculoskeletal modeling, um, and being a, a leading expert in, at the frontier of this field, uh, Dr. Fregley really intrigued me with the material and um, gave me an opportunity to do some research with him um, this semester and this upcoming summer. So I really look forward to working with Dr. Uh, Dr. Fregley, and I appreciate um, the time he spent uh, with me. So thank you. Uh, Dr. Marquez and Dr. Fredley. Go Owls. Congratulations to the honor athletes from the sport of women's basketball. And the women's basketball scholar athlete is Nancy Mulkey. Congratulations, Nancy. Nancy is a senior from Cypress, Texas and Martell College. And Nancy's major was kinesiology. Hi, my name is Nancy Mulkey, and it is an honor to be here representing the women's basketball team as the 2021 Scholar Athlete. There have been many individuals that have contributed to my success here at RISE. 
Uh, I would like to thank my parents for always supporting me and making sure that I had everything that I needed to be successful, both in the classroom and on the basketball court. Without them, I wouldn't be here. To my coaches, all of whom would not accept anything less than 110%. Um, they've been the backbone when I needed them the most. And I would also like to thank Kendall Moore, my academic advisor, for always being on top of things academically, uh, supporting and guiding me through my academic journey uh, here at Rice to receive my degree and graduate from here. Throughout my time at Rice University, I would like to recognize two professors that have had a significant impact on me while being a student athlete and that have contributed to my academic success. And those two professors would be Dr. Shell and Dr. Kabiri. Dr. Shell uh, was somebody who not only supported me in the classroom, but she was at all of our basketball games cheering um, us on. Uh, she has been someone that I could count on and has encouraged me to do my best. And to her, I'm thankful to have had the opportunity to work with Dr. Shell and be in her class. Uh, for Dr. Kabiri, she is someone that will always hold a special place in my heart. Uh, she's someone that cares for her students and wants them to be successful. Uh, she makes her class interesting and shows uh, her love for her students. It's a joy to know her and I am forever grateful uh, for her to have come into my life. I would also say like there was not a single day where I did not want to attend her class. And so um, I just want to say thank you to everybody that has given me an opportunity to receive a degree from a prestigious university. And uh, my experience here will never be forgotten. Go Owls! Congratulations to the honor athletes from the sport of women's soccer. The women's soccer team scholar athlete is Rebecca Keen. Congratulations, Rebecca. She is a senior from Keller, Texas and Duncan College, and she's majoring in kinesiology on the sports medicine track. Hi, I just wanted to start off by saying that it is such an honor to be the scholar athlete for the soccer team this year. My team is full of incredibly hardworking girls and so many of them deserve this award. I would not be here if it weren't for the endless support from my parents, my sister, and all the amazing people I've met over my four years here at Rice. They've pushed me out of my comfort zone and helped me achieve things I never thought were possible. I also wanted to thank my coaches for being so supportive coming back from an injury and helping me gain back my confidence on and off the field. This past year has been very unique, but luckily Rice has amazing professors that go above and beyond for their students. I wanted to talk about Dr. Perkins Ball first, and I had her for the first time my freshman year in an intro class. I had no idea what I wanted to major in, and she really helped open my mind to the kinesiology major. I've taken three of her classes, and they are some of the most engaging I've taken here at Rice because of her contagious energy. Not only is she an incredible professor, but she genuinely cares for her students and their well-being and goes out of her way to check in and see how things are going. I'm so grateful to have taken so many of her classes and have her as a presence throughout my entire time here at Rice. Another professor that has had a huge impact on my time here is Dr. O'Leary. She is the sole reason I not only made it through organic chemistry, but actually understood what I was doing. She took the time to break down everything we were learning in class and go over it in terms that an undergrad student could actually grasp. I went through a lot of things during this time and she was always there to help guide me back on track. She is so compassionate and cares deeply for her students, understanding and success in this course, and I was so lucky to have the opportunity to work with her. Not only did Dr. Perkins Ball and Dr. O'Leary have huge impacts on my time here at Rice, but they also had a huge impact on my future by writing amazing letters of rec that helped me get into dental school, and for this I will be forever grateful. Congratulations to the honor athletes in the sport of swimming. And for the sport of swimming, our scholar athlete is Ellery Parrish. Ellery is a senior from San Antonio, Texas and Duncan College. She's a double major in sociology and social policy analysis. My time at Rice has been characterized by unconditional support from myriad sources that have allowed me to be successful in all facets of my life. I am honored to be able to invite two professors, Dr. Schuler and Dr. Tracy, who both profoundly embody what is unique to a Rice professor, an inherent commitment to holistic learning. 
They considered me not only as a student or even a student athlete, but as a person with interests, flaws, and a lot of grind to do. Despite the fact that I have not taken a class with Dr. Schuler in two years, he continues to be one of the first people at Rice that I reach out to for help, professionally, academically, or otherwise. Dr. Tracy demonstrates in our capstone class every week that adaptability is a virtue for teacher and student alike, and that the best professors know when to take a step forward and when to take a step back. I'm enormously grateful to have the opportunity to learn from them and will look back on their examples for guidance if and when I take on the role of teacher in the future. I would also be remiss to not acknowledge my coaches, Seth and Jess, who also share this commitment to holistic learning. I'm so thankful that they gave me the opportunity to, opportunity to explore myself as a student and a person while simultaneously getting the collegiate swimming experience of my dreams. Finally, my parents deserve more time and words than I have. So hopefully a sincere thank you for everything will suffice. Congratulations to the honor athletes in the sport of women's tennis. The women's tennis scholar athlete is Linda Huang. Linda's a senior from Stratfield, Australia and Baker College. She's double majoring in kinesiology and sport management. I'm extremely honored to be rewarded the Scholar Athlete Award this year. When I came to Rice my sophomore year, I knew that I would be in an environment that would allow me to succeed and to achieve all my goals both academically and athletically. None of this would have been possible without my parents, who have sacrificed so much to give me this opportunity. And of course, Coach Elizabeth, thank you so much for allowing me to represent and compete for Rice. You have mentored me both on and off the court, and I will ever be so grateful. The first professor that I would like to thank is Professor Rodriguez. You're an excellent professor who's managed to make learning so much fun. I've taken two classes with you, and each time your class has been the one that I've looked forward to the most each week. I notice how much you care for your students and especially your student athletes, as you ask us about how much, uh, how our seasons and our matches are going. I remember going to your advising session, confused about pre-PT and prerequisites, and you helped me clear up my future paths. It was a pleasure to be one of your students, and thank you so much again. The second professor that I'd like to acknowledge is Professor Stallings. You were actually the first professor I met at Rice. Thank you so much for teaching me the importance of professional skills, such as communication, how to write a resume, cover letter, and the importance of thank you notes. Thank you also for challenging me to strive for my best in my professional career by connecting me with companies where I've been able to receive some of the best internship experiences. To close off, congratulations to all the other scholar athletes. And thank you again, Professor Rodriguez, Professor Stallings, Coach Elizabeth, mom and dad. Thank you. Congratulations to the honor athletes from women's cross country and track and field. From the sport of women's cross country, our scholar athlete is Natalie Goddard. She is a senior from Austin, Texas and Duncan College. Natalie is majoring in material science and nanoengineering. I'm extremely honored to be receiving this award and would like to thank my family, friends, teammates and coaches for their continued support the past four years. The first professor I would like to recognize is Dr. Thomas. He is a material science professor and taught my favorite class I've taken at Rice. He's one of the best teachers I've ever had and truly um, puts a lot of passion and effort into his teaching and into his classes. I also had the opportunity to work with him this past summer and that opportunity um, largely led to, the, to what I will be doing after graduation. So I thank you so much for your continued support in my career and my life after Rice. I would also like to recognize Dr. James Tor. I took organic chemistry with him my sophomore year, but really got to know him at the West University Baptist Church College class, um, which he taught every Sunday. After the class, him and his wife would host all the students over at their house for lunch. And that's just one of the ways that he pours um, into the Rice community. So thank you so much for all that you've done for Rice students like myself. And again, thank you to Dr. Thomas and Dr. Tor for you supporting me these last four years. From the sport of women's track, our first scholar athlete is a senior from Austin, Texas and Hanson College. Lauren Goddard is majoring in civil and environmental engineering. Hi, my name is Lauren Goddard and I'm a senior on the women's track and field team at Rice. 
I'm honored to receive the Scholar Athlete Award for 2021. One of my favorite things at Rice is its commitment to both athletic and academic excellence. And receiving this award represents the opportunity that I have to take a small part in this. I first would like to thank my parents and sisters for their continual support and always challenging me to be my best. I also wanna thank Coach Bevan for being the best coach ever and also understanding that we're more than just athletes. While we love to run and compete, we also have interests outside of track and he always makes sure to celebrate those qualities in us as well. I would now like to honor two professors that have been very influential in my success during my time here at Rice. The first one is Professor Duenas. I took his class my junior year and I enjoyed it so much, I decided to ask him to join his research group the following semester. As a part of his research group, I learned about the societal implications that different civil engineering infrastructure has, and I will definitely take these lessons into the rest of my career. I would also like to honor Professor Arazo. I took his class, Concrete Building Design, and it was one of the first structural engineering courses I had taken at Rice. His course influenced me to pursue structural engineering after I graduated in May because he made sure to use real world examples in our lectures to help us understand why we were learning that material. Both Professor Duenas and Professor Arazo were always willing to help me and give me advice regarding my career and different graduate school opportunities after I graduate in May. I would like to thank both of them personally for making the Civil and Environmental Engineering Department at Rice a very special place to be. So thank you very much. Our final scholar athlete from the sport of women's track is Tessa Mpaji, a redshirt junior from Spring, Texas and Will Rice College. Tessa is majoring in sports medicine and exercise physiology. I'm so honored to be sitting here as scholar athlete of the year for women's track and field. And when I think of my journey here at Rice and my journey to receiving this award, I can't help but think of all the people that helped to guide and nurture me to this point. So I first wanna thank God for giving me the opportunity to come here to Rice and to learn amongst the brightest. I want to thank Coach Bevan for allowing me to grow as both a student and an athlete, and to my academic advisor, Mike Akel, for pushing me to succeed in all that I do. To my mom, my sisters, and my boyfriend, thank you for constantly reminding me that I deserve to be here and reminding me that I'm more than capable of accomplishing all my goals. You all are my reason. When I transferred to Rice, I'd come from a bigger university where I'd never had the chance to develop a personal relationship with any of my professors. I met Dr. Ball the fall semester of my second year, and I was excited to be in a course where I found the professor and the material equally engaging. I soon learned that Dr. Ball and I shared the same sense of humor, which made our conversations lighthearted but still insightful. During my time at Rice, she has helped me overcome an infinite number of challenges that exceed the scope of her job description. She's constantly available to troubleshoot issues, to help offer guidance, or even lend an ear when needed. Dr. Ball has inspired me to reach beyond my limits and keep working towards my goals, even if they seem unattainable at first. So thank you, Dr. Ball, for allowing me to learn from you all of these years and giving me more than I could have ever hoped for in a professor. It was also during this fall semester where I met an outgoing, personable, and humorous professor in Dr. Kabiri. I had her class in the morning after practice, so I wasn't always looking forward to going because I knew I'd be tired, but this soon changed. Dr. Kabiri's teaching style is best described as contagious. You can't help but want to hold on to every word she's saying. When I struggled, she was always the first person to tell me, don't worry, with a smile, and I always believed her. Like Dr. Ball, she helped me on a personal level. She helped me to excel not only academically, but in life. So Dr. Kabiri, I am so blessed to have crossed paths with you at Rice, because ever since I have met you, you have helped me to smile a little harder and to shine a little brighter. Thank you for having the biggest heart and for sharing your joy of learning with me. Congratulations to the honor athletes in the sport of volleyball. From the sport of volleyball, our final scholar athlete is Nicole Lennon. Nicole is a senior from Katy, Texas and Baker College, and she's double majoring in economics and psychological sciences. I'm so honored to be receiving a Scholar Athlete Award this year. I love Rice University and Rice Athletics, and I'm so proud to be a Rice Owl. Firstly, I'd like to thank some of the people in my life who have pushed me academically, which has put me in the position to be able to achieve this award this year. This includes my coaches, my advisor, Misha, and my parents. Thank you. And I would also like to give a special shout out to a couple of my favorite professors from my time at Rice who have allowed me to really learn and develop a passion for psychology. First, I'd like to talk about Dr. Zimmerman, who I've had for two classes in my time at Rice, my freshman year and my junior year. 
In both classes I took with her, I love the way she teaches. She engages her students with excitement about her subject, and she aids in our learning by keeping her class structured and clear. I admire her dedication to her teaching, from creating worksheets from scratch to help us get a grasp on material, to constantly doing studies on her own pedagogy to improve learning for her students. And outside of the classroom, when I see her around campus, she has always remembered me and shown an interest in my life, which makes me feel appreciated and valued as a student. So thank you, Dr. Zimmerman. Secondly, I'd like to talk about Dr. Hebel, who I first met when I had her for a class sophomore year, and she is now my advisor for my senior honors thesis. I admire Dr. Hebel because of her constant enthusiasm for every part of life. She gives her all to each and every one of her students, and she truly wants us all to succeed. She has always encouraged me to pursue my passions, and she has provided me with every resource or advice of guidance that I may need to reach my goals. She's given recommendations for me, and she endlessly hypes me up beyond what I could have ever imagined from a professor of mine. She's helped me believe in myself and believe in my academic abilities. And she always cheers on my team and I on the volleyball court. So thank you, Dr. Hebel. Lastly, thank you Rice Athletics and Rice Volleyball for giving me the opportunity to go to a top-notch institution in every category. I feel like my experience here has set me up for success and happiness in life. So go Owls. Congratulations to all our award winners. Now at this time, we invite William Roberts, our R Association representative to offer a few closing remarks. My name is William Roberts, and I'm the assistant director of the R Association, which originally started the Scholar Athlete Banquet over 35 years ago. Oftentimes, you will hear student athletes say they chose to attend Rice due to the combination of getting the best education possible with high caliber D1 athletics. The scholar athletes on this call truly epitomize this standard that we have come to expect from all generation of owls. Our duty on the R Association is to help letter winners wherever we can in whatever way possible. This banquet is now more important than ever after you're being distant, facing trials, and some of the most challenging practice and study situations, these scholar athletes continue to excel. We must remember to celebrate these accomplishments when we can. To all the parents, thank you for a wonderful generation of owls. To all the coaches, thank you for your guidance and being with these owls on a day-to-day -day basis. To all the professors, thank you for shaping the minds and teaching these owls what the world has to offer. To all the scholar athletes, Thank you for being you. Without you, your work ethic and drive, none of us would be here today. Once again, thank you all for all that you have done. I hope you enjoy the program. And that concludes our academic award presentation. As if all of this hasn't been enough, one of the scholar athletes from among all the women's teams and one from among all the men's teams will be doubly recognized as scholar athletes of the year at the 2021 Night of the Owl. Again, congratulations to all of this year's honorees and thank you for joining us for this, the 35th Annual Scholar Athlete Celebration. Until next year.